In the last video, I got a few more uniques from the Theater of Blood, leaving me only two items away from total completion. And with my new Armadale Godsword, the plan now is to go for the infamous three-digit special attack and see if I can hit that 100. You ever just have a nightmare for breakfast, dude? 200 KC, 84 Cosmic Runes. The kills are going pretty fast right now, though, so... I'll do, like, 15 more or something. I don't know. I I've seen a lot of drops lately. Surely something is coming my way soon. Waiting on a Theater of Blood team right now, so I've decided to actually be very productive and do all the things that I've been wanting to do for so long, including making all these potions. I've had so many herbs and secondaries just chilling in my bank from Theater or from Herbivore or whatever, and I'm finally making them because I really want 90 herb lore. So I'm just going to take a moment, going to chill, going to make some brews, going to make some other potions, and hopefully get 90 herb lore before my team is ready. And there we go, 90 herb lore or 78 boosted to... I hate that. I hate that I always have to, like, contemplate which one to say. Anyway, I can now make super combat potions, which is the main thing. It's gonna be so nice for Inferno, uh, saving me two extra slots, pretty much, which could honestly be the difference, so. You also save the Torstal by making a super combat, which is pretty sweet. 250 points, and we are all done for now because I ran out of super defense pots, but look at all these potions! This is so good for me, and I have 21 super combats, just gotta save a couple of those for the Inferno. And my team still isn't ready, so this is like the perfect thing to do while waiting. Let's give this boy a little recharge -y. This will be my first time using the AGS, let's see if it completely disappoints me, or uh, if it's good. Uh, we're gonna BGS the first hit, of course. We gotta lower the defense for our team, we're not a leech. Let's see what this thing can hit. 21, 46, 21 again, and 61. Okay, well, it's okay, AGS. You hit big numbers when you feel like it. That is number 56. No purple chests for the lads, as they say. I don't know why we don't get purple chests every single time. That's it's honestly a mystery to me. It's an 85, followed by a 72. That's the highest I've seen a hit so far. Honestly, I might need, I might need an infernal cape and a torture. I might need both of those to hit the 100. I just don't want to do the math because I, I don't want to know. I just want to see it. I don't want to do the math for it. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's a purple chest in my name. It's been like 10 raids or something. Totally deserved. Please be a rapier. If this is a rapier, I can do Inferno, please. No, it's a chest guard. It's number two. I mean, I'm not going to be upset. I need the money. It's a, it's a pretty fat elk. So, I don't know. How much is this? Three points. What? That is so much money. That's actually so good. Never mind. Not even upset. And it's my MVP. It's deserved. Ooh. 93. Big numbers. Last one of the night. And we get nothing. I was feeling good. I was feeling good, but that feeling is clearly false. Uh, but we had to send the back-to-back -back for the chest guard into the nothing. Gonna assign myself a Bloodveld task. It's finally time I start training Slayer. It's such a fast skill. It's superiors just make it so ridiculously easy. I'm 500k away from 92 right now, and the goal is 93. Uh, at that point, I'll be able to kill Smoke Devils, grab myself an Occult Necklace, and then I'm pretty much done with Slayer entirely. Superiors are such disgusting XP, man. 46k. Jeez, how's that legal, man? Oh my god, I've only killed 10. I just haven't done, like, any normal Slayer this entire league. So I'm finally getting these really easy point tasks. Well, that took no time at all. There we go. 93 Slayer. Beautiful. I can now assign myself Smoke Devils. We can get our Occult Necklace, get a fat magic damage boost. I'll just finish up this task. It's so fast. It's actually so fast, even with like 100 Blood Velds. 114 Smokies. Is that going to be enough to get the Occult Necklace? Probably not, but we'll see. The Occult Necklace is a 1 in 350 from the boss, which means it's about a 1 in 116 on leagues. About to be the freest 250 points of my entire life. You get 250 points for this regular Smoke Devil. Ooh, Uncut Emerald, hello. And you get 250 points for the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, and then you get another 250 points for equipping the Occult Necklace. So... That's a lot of points for doing this. That's pretty cool. There we go. First thermonuclear boy down, 250 points. Onto the necklace grind we go. Hopefully we don't go dry, but honestly, it's not the biggest deal if we do. This boss drops so many supplies. It's honestly pretty nice. I'm getting like 90 kills an hour now that I've optimized this. I literally just teleport right after every single kill. Drink from the pool. This gives me full special attack. So as soon as this thing spawns, which happens pretty much as soon as I teleport back, I just dump all five of my special attacks. And yeah, I'm getting literally about 90 kills an hour right now, which is... 
Amazing, that's like an hour for the occult, assuming I get it on rate, so. The only bad part about Smoke Devil right now is if I do complete my task, I lose my world, and then it takes me like half an hour to find a new world, so. Just hit 200 KC here, and I still have not seen anything. No occult necklace, no dragon chain body, no smoke battle staff. It's honestly kind of weird, but... At least I'm getting a ton of supplies. I'm honestly thinking more and more about maxing these days just because I feel like it'll be so easy and I'm just getting so many free supplies. It's just... Oh, I finally got something. Smoke Battle Staff, 262. Wow, holy. Oh, that's not a task. I could have sworn that was a task. 95 Slayer. Two Slayer levels from here so far. Oh, there it is. Yes. Occult Necklace, 322. 250 points from that. There we go. I went pretty dry for that. That's three times the rate. And I had two kills left on my task. I might as well just finish it. Ooh, I'm so happy. There we go. That's done. Can finally leave Smoke Devil. I did get a ton of supplies though, so not even that upset with that dry streak. Pretty good place to go dry on something. I was hoping I'd get it soon as well, because I'm about to do some Theater of Blood. It's such a fat upgrade for Mage. I can actually help with Mage on a uh, Nihila Room now, so this is pretty much my last ditch effort to get a Rapier. If I don't get one tonight, I'm just not going to get one for the Inferno. I'll, I'll go get a Kraken Tentacle and I'll just use a Tentacle Whip for the Inferno, because... It's just, there's no point putting it off anymore. I might as well. I was 60 theaters of blood completed. You gotta love that. You gotta love blood runes in those chests, man. So good. Man, that was such a fast trio. 1537. Jeez. That was really, really quick. Um. Okay. That was insane. <laughs> those specs were nuts. That was three 90s. What was that? That was a 96 as well. That's my new highest hit. Ooh, we have a purple with Seam's name. Good luck, man. Is this your second one? Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, god. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, dude. dude. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, god dude. <laughs> That was his second purple chest. We both got it around the same kill count, too. That's insane, man. Just a couple of gamers with their sights. Back to back? Nope. Good luck, dude. I feel it. I don't feel it. I don't know why I said that, dude. We are up to 235 Nightmare Kill Count now. I haven't seen a drop in a while now. I think we're well over double the rate for seeing something now. You know what? I've decided that I actually will max on leagues strictly because uh, what you're looking at right now is my farming tab. And I have every single sapling I need for 99 farming just from Theater of Blood. All these seeds are from Theater. And this is like 15 mil farming XP in here, which is insane. So... That's farming literally knocked out of the way. I can get 99 farming in like the next two or three days. So yeah, whatever, I'll max. Shouldn't be long. Should be like, what, 100 hours to max? That's actually a joke. Gonna get some ultra compost real quick because it'll help a lot with the farming grind and it'll take me like 10 minutes to get all the ash I need. So hey, look at that. 85 fletching when boosted now so I can make magic longbows. Uh, basically, every time I have downtime from this point on since I've decided to max, I'm just gonna spend it skilling. I have so many materials in my bank that can help me out here. I have ores, I have logs. So anytime I have downtime, just gonna work on it. Should make maxing a lot smoother of a process. My poor cash stack. I mean, I had a lot of money, so I was prepared for this, but um, it's still really expensive. I'm gonna charge up my Sanguine SD real quick because I'm about to do Kraken for the Kraken tentacle. I could not get a rapier, so I'm just gonna go for the tentacle. And uh, we'll be ready to do Inferno at that point as soon as I get that. 1700 charges, that should be enough, I hope, to get this tentacle. We'll find out very, very soon. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> what? Um... That's a fucking pet. Oh my god. I actually got a boss pet. No freaking way. Look at him float around. What a fucking cutie, dude. Oh. Pets actually carry over into the next league. So I'm gonna have this little guy forever, man. For all the future leagues, I can have a little Kraken pet, dude. Everyone's gonna be level three. Yeah, I played the last league, guys. I got a Kraken pet. Pet rates are not boosted, by the way. Pet rates are not influenced at all by the drop rate modifier so this is still just as rare as it would be on the main game well i've cut like 70 of these small krakens and i've decided that the boss is way better for what i'm trying to do here the drop rate is just not worth it from these guys so i'm gonna go there after this task oh my god look at him he's so beautiful oh 
Oh, that's what I needed. That's what I freaking needed. That's the tentacle. Oh, I am so spoon fed, dude. I am so spoon fed. There we go. 46 KC. I did kill like 90 of the smaller Kraken, but still, that's god, dude. Tentacle, pet, and an old boot in 46 KC. What more could you really ask for? Let's combine these. 250 points for equipping a tentacle. That's awesome. Our upgraded whip is here, and we can now use this for the Inferno tomorrow. I'm so excited. That's like, that's the main thing I needed. I just needed a stronger weapon to get through the waves. I've got that now. Uh, there's just a little bit of other prep I have to do real quick, but that's the main thing. I'm so happy. It is time to catch some chin. All right, we're stopping there. 113 chins should be enough for the Inferno. This is the setup. I've actually always wanted to try a melee Inferno, and this is my chance. So this is the gear, and uh, it'll probably be optimized over a couple runs because there's no way I get this thing first try, but I will try my best. It's also been a while. I'm excited. I'm freaking excited to send this thing. After this cape, there's only a couple things stopping me from having the best gear setup in the game. One of those things is Nightmare, and the other one is an Amulet of Torture. We're very close. We just really need this cape. It's like the ultimate gamer symbol cape. Next episode should be, uh, should be a fat one, we could say. I'll see you then. For now, we're jumping in, baby.